hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be talking about the career paths one can take after doing bachelor of science in agriculture so in my previous video i talked about the best courses which are offered in agriculture today we'll be talking about what can you do after completing your bachelor's degree in agriculture so i have a quite number of career paths which I have studied and made research on. So first of all, after completing your bachelor's degree in agriculture, you can go for your master's degree. You can either go for master's in agronomy, master's in horticulture, master's in soil science, or in any other branch of agriculture where they are, which they are offering at whatever school which you want to attend. So here I have made a list of the career paths which one can follow after completing Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. So as you can see, the first one here is you can be an agriculture officer. So what is an agricultural officer? So when you're an agricultural officer, it's like you're working at, uh, at the outskirts, mostly in rural areas, and you will be helping local farmers by giving them advices on which or on what can they use to improve their production you can help them with pest management practices fertilizer application or planning proper planning or of the season so that they can know which crop to plant in this season or which uh, variety of crop should they plant in this type of a season so that's the duty of an agricultural officer so this is the first option. The second one is an agricultural researcher. An agricultural researcher is the person who identifies pests and diseases which are related or which affects the local crops which are grown by the local farmers. So that's the duty of an agricultural researcher. The next one is agribusiness manager. You can be an agribusiness manager. So this means you can be an overall manager for someone who has the passion to do farming, but he doesn't have the skill or the knowledge about farming. So it's like you're running someone's business, which is based on agriculture. The other option which you have is agriculture educator. You can be an agriculture educator. So what am I trying to say by an agriculture educator? It means you will be educating people about agriculture so in other words you will be a teacher you'll be teaching people maybe different types of farming different farming methods teaching people about the new improved methods which have been introduced in agriculture the other one is being a farm manager so in a farm manager it's a situation where uh, someone is running a farm and they have a large space for running a farm but the thing is they don't have enough time or they don't have much skill or knowledge about running a farm so they will require someone who has the knowledge about running a farm someone who has completed probably a bachelor's degree in agriculture so the other one is being an agriculture consultant so being an agriculture consultant, it's like farmers or different people who do not have proper knowledge on agriculture, they will be coming to you, they are seeking for advices, and you will be helping them on what to do, which crop should they plant, what time should they do their irrigation, which time should they apply their fertilizer, and you will be also giving them proper ways of controlling pests and diseases. So the other one is being an agro advisor. Actually being an agro advisor and being an agriculture consultant is almost one and the same thing. So I will not explain that one. So the last one which I have on my list is being a mentor. So when you're being a mentor, it's like someone wants to start uh, their project of poultry farming. So you have to guide them step by step from the process where they are going to buy their chicks feeding ratios and applying of uh, chemicals 
which are used for cleaning or I can say for sanitation of the poultry. So you guide them step by step until they have a successful harvest or a successful production. That's what it means by being a mentor. So there are many careers which you can take after doing a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, but I've just mentioned a few. So if you're watching this video and you're hoping or you're confused, you don't know which path should you take after completing Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. I have made this video simple for you. And uh, if you want, you can go on LinkedIn, you update your profile, you put different preferences, and LinkedIn will be updating you time after time uh, on latest jobs according to your preferences. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would really appreciate if you support me by liking this video and also telling me your suggestions so that I will know uh, what to upload in my next video. Stay blessed.